So I remember that I got a comment asking about my perspective on friendships as an adult and I think it was probably in response to one of my uh, videos, I think I was talking about like lingo that I use with my friends, how we all understand each other's like social limitations, our energy when we're high, when we're like feeling low and just basically asking me like what I consider a friend. How did I meet my friends? How do I define friendship if I define it at all? What makes me consider someone a friend? Um, and I had, to, I had to like soak on that for a while, like thinking about it because just in this past year alone, I feel like my friend circle has evolved a lot and even my meaning of friendships has evolved a lot in the last literally six, seven months. And it ha I have such like a deep personal meaning like with who I do consider my friends and how I guess I define friendship. Um, this is purely off my personal experiences and there's also a level of experience had being neurodivergent because the way I interact and socialize can be really different from how someone who maybe doesn't, um, you know, diagnose or subscribe to being a neurodivergent brain, how, how one would interact. So I really, something that I have put together was that all of my best friends were all like neurodivergent, some shape or form. We're all a little spicy in the membrane. Like that's how I know we interact and we can get so close and we can reciprocate the needs that we kind of look for when we're looking for friends because it can seem like, I had this conversation over the holidays with my sister and my mom because my sister just graduated college but while she was still at college we were talking about like how hard it is to find friends to reciprocate the kind of energy we give. My mom basically was like, it sounds like you guys are searching for deep bonds that not a lot of people can actually give. And then fast forward to becoming closer with one of my favorite humans. At least she talked about how it seems it's like our standard. Like our standard for friends that we want and who we consider friends are people who can reciprocate our energy, people who can kind of be consistent with like communication and maybe we hang out at least like once a month maybe. And I know that in adult life, it's kind of like, oh, life is life if we get it too, because we can have our flaky moments and we can back out of plants and blah, blah, blah. But like, people will make time for what they want to make time for. And that is the biggest lesson I have learned. Like if people just keep kind of bailing on you consistently, but then they're out with other people, it might sound a little bit too straightforward and blatant to just be like, oh, they don't care about you, but that, that from my personal experience, that has been the experience is like, if you are putting in all the energy into one person, like trying to reach out, trying to be like, hey, how are you? Hey, you wanna hang out? Hey, you wanna catch up? Even if it's just FaceTiming, like a phone call or whatever, like type deal. And then like, say you stop texting or stop Oh, I'm so stuffy. Hold on. I had a blow my nose. I'm so kind of stuffy, but it's fine. Um, but when you stop texting that one person and then you realize how little energy they actually put into a friendship, then it's like, that's not really a friend, is it? I think there's a lot of honesty that you have to have with yourself with certain people because I think our natural reaction sometimes can be to, it's like a muscle we flex where we just want to keep everybody in our lives because finding friends is so hard and there are certain qualities about a certain person that like you really want to keep around even though you have to deal with kind of all these negatives of someone else's like, I don't know, reactions or personality and projections towards you and stuff like that. And like be, having the friends I have now have taught me so much. Like, you know how you wouldn't settle for a relationship? also wouldn't settle for certain friendships that aren't giving, that aren't supportive, where you don't feel safe and you don't feel loved, like that. So for me, a friend is someone who just, you feel safe and supported and loved and it's not this one way streak, it's reciprocal and there's an equal amount of just like reaching out and I feel like I've been seeing this thing about how like 
the perfect relationship is 40-60, where both people are putting in 60, and then I think from time to time, it like, sometimes the energy switches, and I feel like that can go for friendships as well, because friends are like the family that you choose, and you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you wouldn't deal with it in a relationship, <laughs> Why would you put up with it with a friendship? Friendships are still a form of a relationship with other people. And I've met my friends through Bumble. I've met some amazing people through Bumble. I had one friend who actually came up to me. We met at a park. Like, she just ran, we ran into each other and she came up to me at the park and was like, I want to be your friend. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and a few of my friends are like school friends. So high school friends. Um, and like we've had our like ups and downs, but we've really grown a lot together, which is really special to see just because, you know, you know, most people don't stay friends with their high school friends, I'm like thinking about everybody. And then there's just some, a few people who I've met through mutuals. Just, I have a small, I live in a small town where everybody pretty much almost knows everybody type of vibe. So a lot of mutuals and then high school friends and then one part, one third bumble and you know, it doesn't matter how you meet, it just matters how you connect, and, you know, some people I did definitely tell, I was like, uh, this probably wouldn't work for me, but, like, love to you type of deal, and then I've just been lucky that I feel like I have found these needle in a haystack humans who we all care so deeply about each other, and it's so reciprocal, it's so powerful, and... Having these people who can reciprocate the same level of bond and connection has shown me the people who were, I was like, oh, like, they don't actually care about me. Like, they, uh, this isn't a good friendship or just this isn't for me and it's holding my energy back because I'm trying to hold on, trying to latch on to people, putting in the effort. And it's not just like, oh, I tried once, but... There have been times where I've tried for months with no, just no reciprocation. It's, it, it, like, it's just, it's hard. It's hard, it's how sad, it's hard, but like, uh, you just kind of reach a standard where it sounds so, it sounds so like uppity and uh, snooty, I guess, to say that I, like, people that I have in my inner circle, we all, we just need that level of self-awareness. We're not perfect. It doesn't mean we're perfect all the time or ever, whatever. It's just, like, being self-aware of how we can react and then we can full circle and be like, oh, my bad, take accountability or express how we feel with words, set boundaries, like, all of that. I don't know, I hope that kind of answered the question in one really mumbly segment about friends. I've been thinking about this, like, all week because, like, I just, I'm like, I've been really blessed and grateful for the friends I have now. Like, I finally feel like I have just a bunch of friends where we're all on the same page. There's no funny business. Like, we all talk if there's something, uh, if something's wrong. And then we were just like, all right, I love you, and everything like that, and it's reciprocal. Um, we can apologize, we can take accountability, we can speak how we feel, and it's safe. So having that safe space is such a big thing, because society is such a mess, and we have all these, you know, red flags and all that stuff. And so when you can find people that you feel safe in, and you feel seen and heard and supported, even from a distance, like, that is a friend, that is, that's a bond, you know? And sometimes those bonds fizzle a lot too, like, sometimes, like, it just doesn't last, and it's like, that's also okay, trying to hold on to things that aren't, that aren't coming back, that, that is just, like, one-sided, it's like, you learn to, you just have to let go of people sometimes, and that's okay, like, you know, I, some friendships just have a phase in your life and it was a good run and then it just, you have to kind of just let it go and it's sad, but you learn a lot about yourself with the people that you meet and the experiences that you have with different people. And I think that's the most beautiful part is that when you can discover a new piece of yourself and then know what you like, that's how, I feel like that's how you can gradually set standards for the type of people that you want to keep in your life, in your company. And company is so important, like, it, 
I can't be stressed enough, like, especially when you're just trying to cultivate highest levels of peace in your life and healing and don't always need, like, the friend drama, the clashing and everything like that. And it's like, is it still perfect? It's like, no, we have our moments, but it's just that everyone in my life, I feel safe to talk to them. And that's the most important part to me now. I feel safe, supported, and seen, and vice versa. And I can have people come to me and... Cause I'll be like, do you need to just talk? Do you want to hang out? I can make tea. Like, it's just super nourishing, and it's been really healing in that aspect too. Like having a healthy community can be just as healing as doing all the inner work yourself. It's like, wow, like there are other people who, like, <laughs> we just are on the same wavelength, and that can be really nice. And I hope that answered the questions, and I hope that gave some good insight. Um, Kind of love getting little questions. If anybody ever has questions, leave in the comments or message me on Instagram. Like, I love responding to questions and stuff like that. Things that make me think and really, like, figure out, yeah, like, this is and that isn't, stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, I hope that helped.